Hello everyone, welcome to Life is Strange Before the Storm. I believe we're going to be taking on the role of Chloe before all of the events of Life is Strange, hence Before the Storm. Now I think I've got the sound levels right, I think I've got the game installed correctly, I don't think it carries on from my previous save, so yeah, episode one, awake, let's just get going. I've got subtitles on, I've got the everything set up as I want it, I think. Anyway, welcome back, 2018. Happy new video year. Crack, 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 go my knuckles. But yeah, welcome back. Life is Strange Before the Storm is a story-based game that features player choice. The consequences of your actions and decisions will impact the world around you. Choose wisely. Right, okay, so it's going to be impacting the world around me rather than before, after, and during. So presumably there's no time travel in this, because otherwise Chloe would have been a lot more time travel in the original game. Oh god. <laughs> Look at the number of the train. Nice. Leet. Oh my god. Get out of the way. I'm going to pick up the controller in case I have to do it. You silly sod. There she is, there's our Chloe. Might be worth me mentioning. I can't believe Firewalk is playing a show at the old mill. Fuck yes. Alright, might be worth mentioning Mom would kill me two things. She knew I was out here. Our mum Joyce. So it might be worth mentioning two things. Sparrow Mella um, on our PS4 has just finished playing the original Life is Strange all the way through because I wanted to remember what happened before I played this. Um, not realising it was a prequel, but still it's good to know. Um, so I am very much uh, remembering what's just happened, so I should be able to get any little links. Warning, do not enter. Hazardous conditions exist. <laughs> no trespassing private property. Approach the fence and press A to jump it. I'm going to look at it first. No trespassing? No way. So there's also a different voice actress, um, apparently. Which is sad, because Ashley Birch was just Chloe. She was the best. Um, so I'm going to have to get used to the new one, but she sounds alright so far. Holy shit. Slightly lower voice, though. Eh, it'll be alright. Big party. This place is awesome. And it'd be worth mentioning, uh, spoilers by the way, if this I'm gonna get inside, is the prequel. I'll have to get through that door. Uh, um, hold on, RT to move faster. There we go, go for a little jog. Um, it might be worth mentioning that, uh, the spoilers, yes, uh, watch the regular Life is Strange first. I've got it on my channel, go and watch it. Um, Sparrow chose the same thing as me, which was to sacrifice Arcadia Bay. That saw looks ancient. I wonder how long ago the mill actually closed. However, unlike me, she got a kiss from Chloe. I did not. So there you go. Betting stub. If I owed somebody a thousand dollars, I'd be shitting my pants. Bloody hell. That's not good. What are you arguing about? Those guys need to get a room. Or not. Damn. Mind your own business. Alright, I will, sorry. I understand. I understand really, and, and, and it won't ever happen. RV, I wonder if this is Frank's this RV. This RV's just begging for a little street art. But if I do it here, someone will see me. Alright, so could we do it around the front, perhaps? Or the other side? Panel! There you go. <laughs> Consequences and that. Now what to draw? I've got to remember, I don't have time power this time, I don't think. Not a meth lab or free candy. If it is Frank's RV, what did his say on it? I'm pretty sure his said not a meth lab. What would I say? That's funny. And a bit naughty as well. Achievement unlocked. Recreational Definitely. vandalism. Absolutely not a meth lab. <laughs> Alright, well I hope to see that I'm later. I'm sorry, officer. It says what on the side of my RV? Ooh, yes, of course. This thing. Right, well I'm going to carry on looking through it all. For sure. Uh... All right, it's just the three. Uh, so four, four, ten, twenty, three, ten, and 
5310. Okay, let's read it. Dear Max, Dad got me this stationery one day when I complained about wanting to send an email and the internet was down. And tonight I thought, hey, maybe it's time to write to Max. I know you can say write Max in America, but I don't like it. The funny thing is, I don't really know what to say. Then again, she's American. No, I accept it. Because we haven't talked in three months, despite all my calls and texts and not that I'm upset or anything. Fuck, there's no way I'm sending this, is there? Chloe the Unfriended. Page one of three. Oh, right, right. Page one of three is the whole journal. Now, this is more like it. Here, I can write to you all I want without wondering or worrying if you'll ever write me back. Put your thoughts in me. Maybe one day when you return home and apologise for having forgotten all about me and we kiss and make up, I'll show you this to you and we can read it and laugh. Or maybe I'll decide that Journal Max is way cooler than Reality Max and you'll just live in here forever as my little imaginary former current best friend pen pal. Time will tell. Chloe, the journal boss. Ready? So mum suggests taking a road trip next summer and I'm like, cool, I guess. But then she starts talking about David being there. Yes, that David, the wannabe drill sergeant who swooped in on mum and has stuck around like a bad zit. David, the moustache monster from Planet Dipshit, that effing David. Anyway, I politely suggested to mum that perhaps it was too early to assume David would be in the picture by then, or breathing. Hey, stuff happens. Can you tell I'm trying to get this by the uh, non-swearing review board on YouTube now? Do my best. As you might imagine, that didn't go over well. But really, if this guy's still around three months from now, then she's got serious self-esteem issues, and I've got some serious self-immolation. Look it up, nerd. Plans. <laughs> Set yourself on fire. She can do better. That's all I meant, but she didn't like to hear it. Like I'm the asshole. Chloe the asshole. Cool. We've got some pictures. My name is Chloe Price, but you can call me Middle Finger. I am an inmate at Blackwell Academy. Oh yeah, we're back at Blackwell Academy. Um... <laughs> Which I get it, she's no image I'm no one's image of a perfect daughter I'm actually going to read all this, just skip ahead if you don't like it I'm surrounded all day by so-called perfection It sucks ass, new things that suck Mum's new drill sergeant boyfriend How hard it is to buy weed around here, having no friends Hypocrites, country music, people who say chillax Dad being dead It's been two years since he died in the car crash and I still think about him all the time I've even been having these weirdly lifelike dreams Sometimes I think he's trying to tell me something other times, I remember that he's feeding worms in a ditch right now, and anything else is just a fairy tale to make myself feel better. At least I have two weapons to help me survive this shitbug town. The pen I use to tag any and everything I want, and my shining personality. If I work at it, maybe I can leave this place just a little less perfect than when I found it. Yeah, I've got to remember that I don't have... <laughs> I don't have a... Uh time-turning ability, so I shouldn't screw around with anything too much. Max Caulfield, MIA, ex-best friend extraordinaire. This artsy mother effer loves photography more than life itself, and definitely more than me. She even uses old instant cameras. It's probably not healthy for anyone to be in to be that stuck in the past, but who am I to tell people how to live their lives? When we were kids, we would dress up like pirates and eat ice cream and write and draw these stupid comic books where we had powers and save people and shit. Ha <laughs> ha. How little you know about the future. Then my dad died, and her dad got some job up north, and she moved away to Seattle. It was probably the moment when I needed her most, and she bailed. Thanks, Max, for teaching me that I can't rely on anyone. I mean it. Life lesson learned. The worst part is that even though we haven't spoken in months, even though she habitually ignored my texts so much that I stopped trying, even though I know deep down that she doesn't care about me anymore, and that she probably has all new friends up in effing Seattle, I still miss her. If she came back tomorrow and said, Hey, Chloe, want to dress up like pirates and be stupid together? I would take her back in a heartbeat. Lub dub in a heartbeat. Hey, Chloe. Yep, yeah, well, that's pretty much what happened, wasn't it? Uh, William. I had a nickel for every jerk-off guidance counsellor or therapist who tried to get me to write shit about Dad over the last couple of years. I would never have to buy weed from Frank again. What's the matter? Don't you want to write your dear old dad? I guess they think it helps me cope with my feelings or whatever, as if a few paragraphs about how great Dad was could help me forget that his guts are probably still plastered to the underside of a semi- a semi- a semi-truck. And what the F am I supposed to write anyway? That he was the perfect dad who was always fun to be around and never angry? That he treated me like an equal? That he was constantly working to make our lives better? That he could always make me laugh even when I was being a bitch? And that he sang in the shower and hated hypocrisy? And that his barbecue grill is still rusting in the backyard? Because the thought of either throwing it away or ever using it again are both so painful that it's easier for mum and me just to pretend it neither of us notices. If that's coping, then coping can go fuck itself. David and Joyce. Despite my mum's best efforts, I don't actually hate her. I know shit's been rough since Dad died. Money is tight. Her job as a waitress at a diner is not exactly glamorous, and I'm clearly not I'm not all about the whole going to school thing. But why does she have to make things so much harder on the both of us? She acts like if I smoke pot or when I skip out skip out to go catch an awesome show, it's somehow a personal attack on her. She should be happy that I'm self-medicating and not going postal on everyone. She never used to be this way when Dad was around. She could actually be cool. Yeah, well, you've got to remember... 
poor old Joyce, haven't you? But lately there's a hairy dick monster she let into the house that's fucking everything up. David Madsen, a jobless, brainless, dickless little shit with a hard-on for the military and I promise to whip me into shape, asshole. Look at his picture in the bottom right there. His uh, drawing. <laughs> what does that remind you of? I've tried to express the concerns to my mum, yet every week it seems the virus spreads to yet another corner of her life. I'm starting to worry that the David flu is the kind of disease that kills its host. Episode 1. Definitely absolutely not a meth lab. Okay, so it's my tags. Cool. That's stuff I find which I'm not really going to be using. Mum, Elliot, Frank, Max. Mum, will you be joining us for supper? No thanks. Will you be coming home at some point tonight? <laughs> oh, poor Joyce. Elliot. Who's Elliot? Spanish test sucked. Lucky if I passed. Oh, lo siento. No, I think I did okay. Cool. What are you up to? Not much, got shit to do later. Oh, okay. Think he likes us a bit? Frank! Wonder what's he, what he's like at the moment. Your shit's here? Hell yeah, but tapped out, sorry. Your loss. Hey, you can hold it for, for me for a day. Can I? I'm your favourite customer. Are you? Frank, you holding? You still owe me. You gonna have me whacked? Yes, please joke about that over text. <laughs> um, you deal drugs on this phone. Anyway, come on, it's 4.20. I'll meet you if you have the cash. Ah, rain check. <clears throat> Fair enough. He seems he sounds a little bit less psycho. Max. Oh dear, lots of text from Chloe, not much from Max. So sorry I've been bad about emailing. Texting is better for me anyway. Yo, it's Max. How's it going? You there? Gah, sorry again, I've been really busy. You'd love Seattle more in a bit. Cool. Maybe some hitchhiking in my future. Hey hippie, I'm so sorry, maybe we should get set up a time to call. No worries. I'll check my dance card. 7pm in Arcadia Bay. What is it? 2019 in Seattle? I know, right? Maybe this weekend. Sure, anytime. Let me know. Yo, Queen of the Crickets, what's the latest? Max. Oh shit, she's totally ignoring us. That bitch. Uh, and that's it, isn't it? Okay. Let's admire our handiwork. I'm sorry, officer. Oh, yeah. It says what on the side of my RV? I remember that now. Let's go for a run. Some say the world will end in fuck. In fuck. Guess fire safety isn't exactly high on the agenda here. I think we should use these. No? Okay, I was going to make the bonfire huge, but whatever. Bikes! I'd join a motorcycle gang. If I had any friends. Oh, it's alright. This place has collected a lot of junk over the years. I wonder if this was the uh, dog fighting place that Frank used to... Yeah. Anyway, let's play the game, shall we? Stop reading so much. An old lumber car. Guess it's been years since anyone's actually worked here. Right. Help you, miss. You gotta let me in. Check it. I'm totally legit. <laughs> it's not a bad fake, kid. But you're in over your head here. Do yourself a favor and scram. Wow. Chloe wouldn't just... Can't let him push me around. Yeah. Should I go back and stand up to him? Or can something around here help me convince him? Nothing says badass like a nice floral print. <laughs> New dialogue unlocked. Ah, oh, I can... <laughs> I can have a go at him about his bike. That could be good. Okay. Should try that. Speak. Speak! God. Whoa. Again? What do you want, kid? <clears throat> Let me inside now. Wow, is that like the, the rage option? Now, let's go your bike. We just learned it. Is that your bike over there? Yup. It's, uh, pretty cool. Gee, thanks. Is that all? Go on, let's rage at him. You started a back talk challenge. Interesting. I have to convince this doorstop that I'm not giving up until he lets me inside. Side. In Backtalk, you use arguments and insults, like Monkey Island, I guess, to get someone to do what you want. Die. Don't you remember what it's like to be a teenager? I just want to see the band. What's written on her hand? I thought we went over this. Isn't it past your bedtime? Oh, ouch. Bedtime. Pay attention to what your opponent says. Okay, bedtime. So do me a solid, probably not going to work. Right, so we paid attention to bedtime. Uh, isn't it a bit past your bedtime? 
Uh, let's go no bedtime. I don't sleep. It's for the week. <laughs> Real cute. But I still don't know. I wish it would stop cutting him off. Real cute, but I still don't know you. Okay. Respond before the timer runs out of shit. Cutest relative, you ugly man. Kittens riding tiny mopeds are cute. I'm more like Red Sonia riding a panzer tank. Ouch, that wasn't great. <laughs> okay, kid. I get it. You're tough. Okay. Kid. Yeah, here, playground is a good response to kid. Yeah, fair enough. Sometimes the right choice is more difficult to pick out. Maybe I am a kid. Because this place looks like a damn playground to me. A girl like you? I can't protect you in there. Yeah, flowers on your bike. A girl like you with pretty, pretty flowers on her bicycle shouldn't lecture me on what I can do. <laughs> that is a traditional Samoan. Yeah, I got to him. <laughs> Look, my boss decides who gets in, all right? Uh, bosses suck. Bosses suck. Screw the man and fuck the rules, dude. You're... You're not accepting no for an answer, are you? Nope. <laughs> nope. <laughs> and you really think you can take me? Yep. What if I had a knife? No problem. A gun? Don't care. What if I <laughs> had... You could have a flamethrower, an army of robot ninjas, and a <laughs> motherfucking dragon on a leash in there, and I'd still kick your ass. <laughs> I give up. <laughs> You're all right, kid. Go on in. Yeah. He's cool. I like him. That is an authentic Samoan. Ah, I love that. Ah. Cool stuff. All right, back talk's fun. Need to play around with it a bit more. No doubt, I'm gonna use have to use it at like the most horrible time. It's gonna be really stressful. But hey, it's all good. So I'm a tagger. Interesting. This is intense. Oh my god. Okay, good. Come. You dog. Huh? It's creepy. Scream, don't touch my soul with your well, with dirty hands. Question everything. Why? Irony. Okay. Just Looks follow dingy. the lights and the sound. Can't wait to get in there and thrash. Just pet the pit bull. Pet the pit. Delia. Oh, cute. She doesn't usually like people. See, pit bulls aren't bad dogs. It's just the people who yeah. train them to be bad dogs. Me neither. They just love their owners so much, pit bulls, um, that they'll do anything for them. Which is why when people are dicks to them, sadly, they're dangerous. Sober up, girl. You're missing the show. <laughs> Damon Merrick again? Who is this guy? Don't mess with Damon Merrick. I like how he's written Damon. That looks really cool. I don't care about that sign. Ooh, parking brake. Looks like that parking brake is the only thing keeping yeah. that car from rolling down the ramp. All right, keep that in my head. Look, we have to set this. That shirt is rad. Shall I steal it? No. No, 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 no. Is that guy Look, selling merch? Set this up exactly as I've explained Wish I had some cash. All right. Hey, are you selling 20 any bucks? What? Twenty bucks for a T-shirt. That's really expensive. No, it's not. You pay more than that in pounds for a shirt no, 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 in the no, no, UK. No. It's ridiculous. Look, we have to I'm gonna take one. Hey, I told you twenty bucks. You looking to get beat? Yeah, totally. Beat that me. guy's a dick. If I want a shirt, I'm going to need to get creative. Yeah. He's not too much of a dick. Look, not letting me have a free sense. shirt. Well, let's release that. Sorry, dude. Maybe you shouldn't overcharge. Shit! No, 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 no! Come on! Yeah. Time for a yoink. 
Thanks for playing, Dick. Wow, I'm really rude. <laughs> oh, yeah. Sweet, sweet victory. What else you seen in there, Chloe? That's like 200 bucks. Wow, yeah, take it. Yeah, I'll steal it. I'm sure it will. But no one's looking. We're good. Crap, crap, Holy crap. Holy shit. I'm rich. That means he sold ten shirts. Aha! Okay, look at the bong. Nothing sadder than a neglected bong. Couldn't agree more. Nothing sadder than a government refusing to legalize a plant. How can you just chill when Firewalk is tearing it up in the next room? Good point. Should we go to the next room? Ooh, syringes. That's getting a bit heavy. No thanks. Yeah. I try to avoid hepatitis, but I can't. Should we speak to Frank? See Yo, what he's like now. Frank. Hey. Or earlier in his life. Chloe? I know your name, you idiot. You bought pot for me every month for a year. Look at that get up. <laughs> Studs. You're trying too hard. Says who? What are you even doing here? I'm here to see Firewalk, man. They rock. <laughs> Look at the dancing. How'd you even hear about this little shindig? Ha, the internet. How else? Seriously? Fucking kids. <laughs> okay, so you holding? I could definitely use something to take the edge off. Got money now? Of course. As soon as you give me the 175 bucks you owe me. Well, it just so happens. Toss in a dime bag and we'll call it square. Hey, hey! What are you waving around this kind of money here for? You really don't think before you act, do you? Nope. So, where's my pot? No more loans. I'm not your fucking piggy bank. It's not very much for $200. Man, or do I pay in arrears? No. I think I pay in arrears. I'm not. No, he's not. Price, you're cramping my style. He's really not a good man. He's good in some aspects. All right, I'll leave him. I'll see you later. Whatever. He's enjoying the uh, party. Right. Half those stairs are rotted through. Looks dicey. Yeah, let's not bother. Dartboard. Reminds me of the way I make important life choices. <laughs> it's a good idea, actually. Ooh, poster. Rachel Lambert's classy. missing. Ooh, nice. Not classy, but um, it'll do. Okay, let's go. What does that say? Skeevy guys. Skeevy. Sketch Central. Sweet knife. Just like the one my mom refused to get me for my birthday. I don't suppose I can take it. That'd be handy. Oh, all right. Let's go through. Oh, we're in uh, Half-Life 2. Feedy everywhere. I think. They missed a spot. Indeed. Let's just uh, write something on here. Evil Eye or Spin. I like Spin. Sit and spin. <laughs> I love the humour in this game, it's good. Yeah, cool. Uh, and then there's Frank. For a drug dealer, Frank Bowers is actually pretty chill. He likes to act like a tough guy, but I have no doubt that he's done a few messed up things over the years. But to me, he's like a scruffy dog. The tougher he tries to come off, the cuter he seems. I've been buying weed from Frank close to a year. I almost never have enough money to pay him, and he always tells me it's the last effing time, Chloe, I'm not your effing friend. And he always gives it to me anyway. Like I say, guy's, guy's adorable. Of course, if I ever did anything to actually get on Frank's bad side, he might not seem so cuddly anymore. Yeah, we've seen that. Here he rolls with some dudes who are into way darker shit than keeping high schoolers medicated. It's hard to imagine Frank getting mixed up with anything bad, but I guess you never know. That's cool. Date of birth old. For now, I'll just keep hoping that Frank is even worse at remembering who owes him money than he is at being intimidating. Ooh, drunk guy. Sweet dreams, hombre. <laughs> dun, dun, da, 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 push through. Here we go. <laughs> Fuck. Whoops. Oh, come on. You're hey. worried about a bit of beer. You okay? I'm fine. 
Relax. You bumped into me, remember? That's Fuck just... off, man. Yeah. Hey, you don't know who I am, do you? I'm gonna play as I no. think Chloe should and play. And I give zero shits. And let me know how that works out for you, bitch. Yeah. All right, mosh pit is a no go. Fine. Maybe I can get a better view of the action from up above. Indeed. Ooh, a deer head. Let's look at that because I like that. Don't you judge me, spooky deer head. I'm here for the band. Ba -ba 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 -da -da. If I want Let's to see to the band, again. I'll have to find another way. Ah. Those guys are trouble. All right, new dialogue option. Let's try setting the dog on them. That could be fun. Can I talk to you? That dog is fierce. Can't talk to him though. We could just talk to Frank, see if we can get him to she let us through. Returns. Who was that guy I pissed off? Did you see that guy I ran into? Acted like I was supposed to know who the hell he was. Ah, uh, yeah. I know him. He works for Damon. Damon, Damon Merrick. Merrick? <laughs> I see you've heard of him. Don't mess with this Damon is Merrick. His place. Damon's a friend of mine. Really? Where do those stairs go? Where do those stairs go? Uh, up. Sounds good. It's real helpful, Frank. I mean, will I get a better view of the band up there? How the fuck should I know? The floor above's rotted all to hell, okay? No one goes up there. Fine. I'll see oh. you later. Let's just go home. Whatever. Get a nice early night. I mean, we could, couldn't we? What are you up to? Not much. Drunk girl. But I did say no parking, in fairness. Justice has been served. <laughs> cool. Water pipe. Nothing sadder than a neglected bong. Yeah. Did it call it a water pipe before? I don't know if it did. Chill girl. Half those stairs are rotted through. Looks dicey. Oh right, I didn't know we could just go. I thought we had to <laughs> climb on a box or something. Yeah, just be careful. Shit. Oh no, come on. I'm gonna fall through and jump. Right, Chloe's gonna fall through and I'm gonna jump. Oh, yes! Finally made it! I can't believe it! Yeah, they sound good. <laughs> Enjoying yourself up there? Looks like it. Cool. Let's leave. Uh-oh. You spilled my beer, bitch! Oh no, poor you. You should be more careful. It's a rough place. I don't like your attitude. I don't like your shirt. Oh, that's insulting. Then how about I show you how unimpressed I am with limp dick assholes who get butt hurt over a spilled beer? I yeah, think exactly. she's calling us out, dude. She's gonna regret every word. Every word. Is oh, she? <laughs> this is gonna be good. I'm gonna teach this little punk some man. I'm serious. You wanna see me get angry here? Because I'm getting there. And it won't be pretty. It won't. She thinks she can take you? Oh, bloody hell. Hey! Dickhead! Is that Rachel? Shit. Choose carefully, this action will have consequences. Well, he was about to get me, so I'm gonna just hit him back. <laughs> oh. Rachel? Yeah, need him in the Come balls, on. that's good. I like that. He'll remember, but I'm alright. Hurry up! Look at him, he's having trouble. Go, Frank. 
Not gonna happen. Calm down. Come on, man. Walk away. Screw this. Yeah. Yeah. Bye. Get the fuck out of here. <laughs> nice. Oh, and we got through the actual gig. That's nice. Na 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 na. I wonder if I'll have to uh, remove this song by YouTube copyright removal. <laughs> we'll see. Doubt it though. We'll be fine. Let's drop this a sec. How do I drop it? Uh, that's that button. Smash.